بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين These are some exercises about section 1.5 uh, Solving linear systems of two uh, equations, two variables and three variables So here solve the system of equations by using graphing All right uh, to solve by using graphing, let us graph the first line and the second line. If I just concentrate on the second line, this is 4, 2, 6, this is 2, 1, 3. So if you divide the second equation by 2, you will have 2x minus y equals to 3. Oh, so it is the same line. So I'll just graph this line, one yeah, I'll just graph this line because it is the same line. The two equations represent actually the same line. So if y is 0, just find the x and y intercepts. 2x equals 3 or 3 is 1.5. So this is the x intercept. And if x is 0, then negative y equals to 3 or y equals to negative 3. So this is the y-intercept, and you can connect the two points. And this would be the graph of the line, and also the graph of the system, <clears throat> because the system here consists of, of one, one line. So he says, solve the system by using graphing. I can say that solution consists of all points of the line uh, 2x minus y equals 3 and as we have seen also we can say this in another way we can say solution sets all points or ordered pairs that lie on this line so this would be the answer solve each Solve the systems of equations by substitution. Well, by substitution, I look to the coefficients in the first equation. I have the coefficient of y is negative 1. That's good. So if I take 3 to this side and take negative y to the other side, then y would be 4x minus 3. Now I can put the value of y in the second equation. So y could be replaced by 4x minus 3. And I have one equation in one variable, which is x. So I solve this equation by expanding. 3 times 4, 12. 3 times 3 is 9. Now 12 plus 2 is 14. 19 plus 9 is 28. 28 over 14 is 2. So x is 2. And now I can use this equation to find the value of y. So I replace x by 2, 4 times 2, 8 minus 3. That's just 5. So y is 5. And the solution set consists of the ordered pair 2 and 5. Unique solution. Solve each system by elimination or by any convenient method. So it's up to you. You can use elimination, substitution. Look to the coefficients. I have 5 over 2, 7 over 2. What if I just multiply this equation by 2 to get rid of the denominator? So I will have 5x minus 7y equals negative 2. Okay, I can do that just to get rid of the denominators. Now, if I'm going to use elimination, to use substitution, uh, there is no uh, variable with coefficient 1. Uh, I can, of course, use, but I will have fractions. I think, uh, what about elimination? I have negative 7, 3, 5, 8. Uh, I cannot change one of the coefficients to the other easily. So I will make the coefficients of y opposite in sign. 
uh, so I will multiply the first equation by 3 and multiply the second equations by 7. So by this, the coefficient of y here would be 21, and the coefficient of y here would be negative 21, and then the uh, we have the same coefficient of y opposite in sign, so by adding, I will eliminate y. So let me multiply 5 by 3, 7 by 3, negative 2 by 3. This, this is the first equation. 7 times 8, 56. Uh, 3 times 7, 21. 7 times 11, 77. And now I can add. So 56 plus uh, 15 would be 71. And 77 minus 6 is also 71. So x would be 71 over 71, which is which is 1. Now I can use any equation. For example, I will use the second equation. So 8 times 1, which is 8, plus 3y equals 11. So 3y 11 minus 8, which is 3. So y is 3 over 3, which is 1. And this system has a unique solution, which is the ordered pair 1 and 1. Another equation, look to the coefficients, 6, 4, 16, 9, 6, 24. Well, what if I divide here by 2, okay, to make the coefficients uh, easier? 6 divided by 2, 3x, minus 2y, 16 over 2, 8. What if I divide the second equation by 3, okay? So I will have 3x, 6 divided by 3, 2, 24 divided by 3 is 8. Oh, I have the same equation. So there is, no, there is no need to do anything. Once I have the same equation, the solution set would be all ordered pairs x, y, such that 3x minus 2y is 8. So this system is dependent and the solution of this system would be the points of the line because it's one line, one equation, in fact. Uh, okay, three equations and three variables. Use the left to right elimination method to solve the system. Well, the left to right elimination method, we start by x in the first uh, equation with coefficient 1, eliminating uh, x from the second and the second the third equation this this uh, uh, seems happened here okay so the next step after that we use the coefficient of y in the second equation to eliminate the co or to remove the coefficient of y in the third equation so i will just do what this is one the coefficient of y is one and the coefficient of y here is two so i will just multiply one by negative two so negative 2 times equation 2 plus equation 3, this transformation will make the coefficient of y0 in the last equation. So I will have the first equation, no change. Uh, the second equation, no change. I am only changing the last equation. Negative 2 plus 2 would be 0. Negative 2 times negative 3, 6 plus 7, 13, z. Negative 2 times 11, negative 22, plus negative 4, that's negative 26. And now I use back substitution. From the last equation, z is negative 26 over 13, that's negative 2. Then I go to the second equation y minus 3 and z is negative 2 equals 11. So it would be negative 3 times negative 2, 6. Take it to the other side. 11 minus 6 is 5. So y is 5. Now I go to the first equation. x plus 3 times y. y is 5. So this is 15 minus 8 times z. Uh, well, minus 8 times negative 2 would be 
plus 16 equals 20 so x would be 20 minus 31 that's negative 11 so this system has one solution which is the order triple negative 11 5 and negative 2 of course the order triple has to be x y z so you write x first then y then z another example about the left to right back substitution uh, sorry the left to right elimination method of course we use back substitution at the end okay the coefficient of x in the first equation should be one that's nice it is already one so i use it to eliminate x from the second equation how multiply one multiply the first equation by negative one so a negative the first equation plus adding the second equation i will have negative one plus one this will make the coefficient of x here zero also two how to eliminate this two the first equation i multiply the first equation by negative two and then add to the third equation so we will get the the new system x minus 3y minus z without any change now we are changing the second equation with this transformation negative 1 plus 1 that's 0 negative negative 3 3 minus 2 1 negative negative 1 1 plus 1 2 so plus 2 z negative times 0 is just 0 plus 8 so we have 8 the third equation we change it by this transformation negative 2 plus 2 is 0 negative 2 times negative 3 6 minus 6 that's also 0 negative 2 times negative 1 2 plus 1 3 z and negative 2 times 0 0 plus 6 6 so we are very lucky because uh, y disappeared from equation 3 so immediately we have z from the last equation 6 divided by 3 is 2 and by back substitution to the first equation y plus z is 2 2 times 2 is 4 plus 8 so y is 8 minus 4 which is 4 and use the first equation to find the value of x negative 3 times 4 that's negative 12 and negative 2 which is z equals 0 this is negative 14 take it to the other side it is 14 so the solution set of this system x is 14 order triple y is 4 and z is 2 that's the solution of this ordered triple thank you very uh, much this is the end of these exercises study well and have a nice